Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I am very excited to be talking about something that I have a real passion for. So um, if you have watched my channel at all, you might have noticed that I enjoy traveling and um, this actually started as like a travel log uh, video channel for me. And you might have also caught on that I like purses. So what better topic to talk about than combining these two favorite things and talk about travel purses. So when it comes to the purse that you bring when you're traveling, I feel like there's like four or five different like philosophies or schools of thought on what's like the best options. So I'm going to kind of go through those and show you examples and talk about my you know opinions of, of each of these options. I think one thing that you will notice about the majority of these bags is they are basic black and that's because like number one I'm kind of boring but number two um, it's so versatile that um, it's something that's kind of easy to like dress up and down and use in different occasions that's kind of where I'm going with this selection of bags is like to maximize your packing space and you know bring as little as possible when you're traveling um, to maximize efficiency. So the first way I think you can go is with a true like anti-theft travel bag, like something you would buy at the luggage store. So I actually have one of these. This is from the brand PackSafe. It is their city safe bag. It's in the 200 size. I think they have a 100 size. It's maybe a little smaller. I've had this for almost 10 years and I have used it many times and still use it. I actually just took it to New York a couple months ago. Um, so this has a lot of great features and a lot of these like travel specific kind of purses have those sorts of features so like it's water resistant the zipper um like seals up very securely if you're out in the rain um it has a lot of organizational uh aspects um a lot of different inner and outer pockets and di just different places to like you know keep all your tickets organized and all your little things because really when i take this this is like primarily my bag that I'm carrying with me most of the time. Um, and then in addition to all that, it has a lot of anti-theft aspects to it. So this bag, for example, is slash proof. So I, like if somebody tried to cut into it, there's actually some kind of mesh or something in here that would prevent them from being able to do that. The straps also are slash proof, so someone can't just slice it off your body and run away with it. Um, and then there's also like a clip at the end of the strap so you can undo it and like wind it around the back of your chair and then clip it back together so somebody can't just you know grab it when you're at a restaurant or something so there's a lot of little features like that but overall I think it looks like a pretty sleek black bag um, it doesn't scream like obvious tourist to me and uh, you know there's some other options if I had gotten it in a different color for example um, it might have looked a little more outdoorsy or like a, a hiking or a backpacking kind of thing but i think just keeping it simple black um it just looks like a you know almost a small messenger bag that you might just wear around for the day so um i have definitely gotten a lot of good use out of this and um i would highly recommend it they're not cheap I think the features and benefits outweigh the price and um, like I said it's definitely been worth it for me I forgot to mention there's like these little pockets on the outside you can unsnap and you can put like a water bottle or I use it for an umbrella so yeah tons of great features on this bag highly recommend these um, like I said if it, it doesn't scream like tourist so um, I think it's really versatile good bag the next type of bag I'm going to talk about is a convertible bag and I actually had done a whole video about these types of bags previously so I'll put a link to that but this was one of the ones that I spoke about then so I won't go into like every detail about it but this is from K and Bow, the brand K and Bow, and it's their London three-in-one convertible tote. I think that this particular bag actually is no longer available, but they have a bunch of other designs that are like even nicer looking. <laughs> this was like their like one of their first bags that they came out with, so it might have almost been a prototype, um, but they definitely have other very similar convertible kind of purses now, and of course there's other brands as well. So um, this bag, you actually can use it three different ways. So I have it set up as like a, um, a crossbody bag right now but you can I'm not gonna do it right here but you can like fold down the top part and make it more of like a rounded satchel type bag or you can unsnap the bottom 
and it folds flat and you can use it as more of like a square um, just like a, a tote shaped bag um, it has different options as far as having shoulder straps or just one longer crossbody strap um, so depending how you like flip and fold it it's very versatile as far as size style um, you know capacity so what I've done with this bag and what I would do with a convertible bag is probably like use it as it at its largest size um, when you're traveling uh, especially like with most of these what I have in mind is like you're flying and you have your carry-on and your one personal item and I don't usually check any luggage so I would use this as, as its biggest size as my personal item and then once I get to where I'm going I don't need to carry such a huge purse I'll like fold it down and make it like a little more manageable size and just use it as my purse while I'm out and about um, and then again something like this that's like a convertible bag um, you know again if you can make sure that you can like use it in lots of different situations as far as like being more dressy or more casual um, it will just add to its versatility so the next kind of idea is not a specific bag that I want to show you, but just sort of the idea of packing a smaller bag inside a larger one. So um, as you might have noticed from some of my videos, I'm more of like a big purse girl and I really don't carry like a small bag just on a regular basis. But when I'm traveling, sometimes all I really want is like a little small crossbody bag. So again, to maximize like the carry on and the personal item of my luggage I might carry a little bit bigger bag maybe some kind of tote or backpack or something as my personal item but then bring in my luggage a smaller bag to use as my purse once I get to my destination so these are actually just two examples um, that I use pretty regularly I'll start with this one this is actually from Target I believe it's the um, yeah it's the universal thread brand if it's still available I'll put a link to it but it's just like a really nice plain black crossbody bag it actually is a is a pretty decent size for being so small it can hold quite a lot as far as like I can put my camera and my wallet and all my different things um, it has a couple inner pockets it has one pocket on the outside that's handy for like quick access stuff but it's just super super simple it's literally just a square and um, again because it's black and because obviously it's faux leather but like it looks leathery you could dress it up or down a little bit and use it in some different occasions and then this is a crossbody bag from Fossil, which I have actually traveled with many times. It's great because it does fold down so nice and flat, but it's like a really nice quality, actually, leather bag. Um, it has, again, a nice like outer pocket, and um, it's a fun color. Um, again, you know, I mentioned that most of these are black because it's easy to kind of mix and match and go with things, but if, like me, you kind of live your life by a color palette, then something like this that's a fun color um, would probably be easy to match with whatever you know outfits you're bringing on your trip but also still versatile enough to go with everything and it will be like a fun pop of color uh, amongst your your wardrobe for that for that trip so um, this is a really nice one as well and uh, like I said I've traveled with this quite a lot again just a nice crossbody bag so that's another option to save your actual purse that you're going to carry in your luggage and carry something else while you're doing your traveling so my next suggestion is to use like a single versatile kind of bag. So this one I've spoken about before, I got it from Amazon, it's, I don't know how to pronounce it, Shiseko or Chic Eco, um, it's a nylon tote bag and these actually come in several sizes. I have the smallest one, but I've been carrying it as a purse a lot over the last several months and I've actually taken it um, on a trip with me as well so when I traveled I actually attempted I did use this as my like personal item I probably should have used a little bit bigger bag and like folded this one down if that's what I wanted to carry but um, it was just a little small for me but this again in the smallest size is actually um, really nice you could definitely fit like a small laptop in here if you want to use it for a work thing um, if you're not as much of a heavy packer as me, you could probably use it as your personal item. Um, you know, you can fit your papers or magazines or different things in here. Um, of course, you can use it as a purse. And again, because it's just like black nylon, it's easy to dress up or down. Um, I carried it to like a business kind of event, but also used it like touring around in our free time around the city. So it's a really versatile one. And actually one other thing um, that's been an aspect of all of these bags that I highly recommend 
for a bag that you're going to travel with is that it does zip shut um, just for security you know when you're standing somewhere somebody could stick their hand in the back of your bag or if you set it down or something it's just like one more layer to keep people's hands out of there so even though it's not a specifically like anti-theft bag just something as simple as a zipper is um, a great feature to have when you're traveling and the last option is a backpack so I have never really been a fan of a backpack as a purse and I feel like especially while traveling like oh it would be nice to have my hands free but I really just don't trust having all my stuff on my back out of my you know vision and so easy for somebody to get into especially in a crowd someone can just easily slip their hands in there unzip things you'd never even notice so I've always been really wary about backpacks but um, I saw this one and the features just seemed so great uh, I thought I'd give it a try and actually I've used this now a couple times and I really really like it so this one is the pin cell backpack purse this is size medium they have like a medium or a large so this is the medium size they have one that's a little bit bigger that's more of like a standard like school backpack size but even this one you definitely could fit like a, a tablet in here um, so I'll show you the the pockets and stuff but the main feature of it um, and why they tout it as like a anti-theft backpack is because the main zipper compartment is actually accessed from the back so while it's on you nobody can be reaching in there there are a couple of pockets on the front just like quick access things I had you know my lip balm and like a pack of tissues in there but the main compartment is only accessed from the back so I know it's black so it's hard to see but um, it has like a nice big flap opening there's a couple pockets inside here there's a pocket on the um, inner flap and then um, it does have quite a big capacity and one other neat feature about it because the other thing I don't like about backpacks is like well you gotta like hoist it up on your shoulder and then you need something to like take it off and get in there um if you know that you're going to be needing to like quickly get in and out of it you can also carry it by this other like top strap and then you just wear it over your shoulder and the strap is not adjustable but because the bag is like so deep because it's a backpack um this short strap plus a deep bag actually just hits at like the perfect spot to be a little shoulder bag and i don't think it looks weird it just looks like you're wearing kind of like a deep purse but it's not like oh she's wearing her backpack as a shoulder bag so you have that option as well if you're going to need to be like reaching in there frequently um but here i'll put it on as a backpack and show you as well so it's it's very comfortable the backpack straps are adjustable so you can get it you know to the spot where you want it to sit um, and I had it pretty well loaded up and it wasn't um, uncomfortable to wear at all and then again you know you can just pop it off unzip your thing pull your thing da 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 so um, this is really nice highly recommend this one um, there's plenty of anti-theft backpacks um, that do have like a, a hidden zipper that's basically like the main uh, anti-theft way to make a backpack but um, this one I just thought was really nice and it's not like overly sporty or again like touristy like obvious looking it just looks like a nice backpack purse so I hope you found those tips and ideas useful. If you did, please do give this a thumbs up. Um, please leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite type of like travel purse situation is. Um, or if you've been looking for something, let me know if one of these maybe inspired you. Again, I love talking about purses and travel, so hopefully this is as interesting to you as it was to me. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe because I do this kind of thing all the time. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.